this is uh, for Duncan, for, y- for you and I. I used to do a show here in Nashville, and uh, and uh, I was with my producer down at Five Points Starbucks having coffee. Yeah, yeah. You and your daughter came and sat right next to us. You were scheduled to be on our show a week later. And naturally, I grew up with a poster of you on my bedroom wall, yeah, you know, yeah. with the boys, so I knew you right away. But, you know, we didn't say anything to you, but, it's, but my producer, Shimmy's like, hey, that's uh, Miss Duncan. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's Duncan. And you sat just having coffee with your daughter, just sitting with your daughter and yeah. everything. And But it's it's that area where you live that people are so used to bands living here. Uh, my mom flew into Nashville one time and we went to that five point Starbucks and all of a sudden Peter Furler walk. He's behind us in line. Yeah, hey, is in. I'm yeah. like, yeah, mom, this is the way it happens. Yeah. That's there. just, it's just every day for me. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh, but when you live in Seattle, you, you get the news boys once every two years. Yeah. This is a huge, this would be, a, but what are you've been at this for a long time now, but what, when does getting recognized get tough? Uh, when is it a struggle, perhaps? Um, probably when you're trying to have family time. Mm. Um, you you know, I'm not home that much. When you go out and then you're sitting there, you want to have this beautiful time uh, with your family, which is which I covered that. Um, you know, pe- that's probably the toughest, but, but even then it's, it's not really that tough. I mean, people mm. come up, all they want to say hi and, and thank you for the music. And, you know, I never... Um, it's just part and parcel of what you do and if you don't realise that as an artist I think you you do something else mm. because it's going to happen yeah. um, but there again as you get a bit, little bit older a bit of, pers- bit of perspective uh, I, would, I would never turn anyone away in that sense because that might be the only moment I, I know the funny story Jeff Frankenstein uh, he has he, I'm not going to say who they were but he met someone a famous keyboard player and uh, being a fan of this certain, yeah, you know, this certain artist, keyboard player, for all his life, he went up and say, you know, do you mind if I get a picture? And he just, he just kind of shoved him off and kind of waved him on, yeah. and it broke Jeff's heart at the time because he was such a massive fan. And I, and I always remember that. I never want to be the guy that does that, yeah. you know. And I never would. I just, just not who I am. But there are times you feel like it, you know. You middle of a tour you've only slept three hours that night you're grumpy you're missing your family you're in the middle of nowhere and you know someone comes up and wants to you know be all over you about something those are the times it's like oh please just leave me alone (laughs) (laughs) i just i just want to get through the day and play the show and get on the bus and you definitely have those moments but i but i to this day have never Uh, never, never got weird with anyone because it, it's just not worth it. Yeah. And in the end, you know, they're the people that have supported you, supported us mm. through all the years, what we do, and they just want to have a little moment where they can tell you how how the music has made them feel. Yeah. So, and I get it. I have yeah. a tattoo of a band logo yeah. on my body. Yeah, and I never want the me- I never want to meet the lead singer because if he is a jerk. Well, it's going to shatter. <laughs> it's going to shatter your whole impression. I know, right? I know that's. I don't want to meet you. Yeah. I don't want to read about you. Yep. I just want the memory I've yeah, got. You, you just want. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This laser is expensive to take it uh, off. It is. <laughs> it is. It's doable, but it's expensive, <laughs> right? right? Uh, 